The pandering and the virtue signaling continues. I received this story late last night from one of my longtime viewers, and I always appreciate when you guys send me stories like this. I cannot keep up with all the news by myself. Anytime you guys see a story that pertains to what we talk about here on the channel, send it my way. You can shoot me a DM on Twitter, email me at btlkc84 gmail.com. And also, I want to thank you guys for the continued support and continuing to share the content. At some point over the last week, the channel surpassed 12,000 subscribers. Three months ago, we had like 2,000 subscribers. So we have seen substantial growth over the summer. The channel continues to move in the right direction, and I could not do it without the help and the support from all of you. Just know I do appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed. Now let's get back to the pandering and the virtue signaling. Have any of you ever heard of the University of Otago? Yeah, me either. Me either. It is a college in New Zealand. It appears colleges and universities in New Zealand are just like they are here in America. Social Justice Training Centers. Those of you that have been following me for a while, you already know about Laurel Hubbard. But for those of you that don't know, Laurel Hubbard made history at the Olympics this year by being the first transgender athlete to compete in an individual event. It's going on three months now, and I still don't understand how this was history. If I showed up to the Westminster Dog Show dressed like a Rottweiler, would I make history by being the first trans animal to compete in the event? No. The other dogs would look at me like I was a dumbass. They'd look at me like I didn't belong there. In the locker room, while all the other dogs are chewing on bones, eating each other's shit, going at it doggy style, I would be ostracized all by myself in the corner. The woke media hyped Laurel Hubbard up as this big hero, all because she showed up at the Olympics. That's all she did. She showed up, spent about five, ten seconds on stage, trying and failing to lift weights, walked off stage, went back to her normal life. That's historic. What an accomplishment. Laurel Hubbard somehow managed to get on a plane, walk to a stage, and fail. She is a role model to children all around the world that dreams really do come true. Look, I don't have a problem with Laurel Hubbard. This is not her fault. I don't blame her. Over the last three months, I have read more than I care to admit about Laurel Hubbard. I've watched the very few interviews that she has given. This is not a Megan Rapino or a Gwen Berry. Laurel Hubbard is humble seems to be a private person. She doesn't like or relish in the media attention. Matter of fact, she doesn't want it. I don't believe she competed in the Olympics for the attention or for the money. She comes from a very wealthy family in New Zealand. She doesn't need money. She's not out here promoting social justice. From what I can tell, Laurel Hubbard is just a normal person who just so happened to cut off her schlong. As always, I blame the media. I don't have an issue if a dude wants to become a woman or a woman wants to become Hulk Hogan. My problem comes in when they feel they are entitled and expect taxpayers to pay for their transition or they shove their sexuality in my face. Over the weekend, the University of Otago in New Zealand awarded Laurel Hubbard with the Sportswoman of the Year Award. You know, these awards are starting to get ridiculous. We used to live in a society where you had to actually accomplish something to receive an award. In 2021, all you have to do is come out of the closet or chop off your dinger, and the media awards you for being courageous. I'm sure Carl Nassib will be awarded soon for going on Instagram and telling the three people that give a damn that he's gay. Is someone going to give me an award for saying that I'm straight? Laurel Hubbard receiving the Sportswoman of the Year Award is nothing but pandering. It's a virtue signal. It is a way for an unknown university in New Zealand to get media attention. Adults, we can see through the bullshit. We see this for what it really is. I don't think anyone in my audience looks to Laurel Hubbard as a role model. But kids, kids don't have the knowledge. They don't have the cognitive skills yet to see through the propaganda. What message 
Does this send to children? The message is, you don't have to work hard. You don't have to accomplish anything to be successful. All you have to do is decide God made a mistake and change your gender. This is going to sound harsh. And like I said, I don't hold Laurel Hubbard responsible for this. But she is a failure. She went to the Olympics. She failed. She went home. I'm confused. Someone please tell me what she accomplished. I get so tired of hearing about equality and inclusion. That is a myth. I saw a story over the weekend. Some professor at UCLA was disciplined because he did not make an exam easier for his black students. He gave the same test to everyone. It kind of confused me. I thought the entire premise of the woke agenda was equality. That professor at UCLA, wasn't he treating everyone equally? Everyone got the same test, the same opportunity. No, Casey, you're wrong. He has to make the test easier for black students because they don't have the same intelligence level as their white counterparts. Do you know how offensive that mentality is to black people? Making the test easier for black students, you're not doing them any favors. That's not how it works in the real world. I was talking to someone the other day who just moved down here from Colorado. He's about my age, had kids the same age as my nephews. I asked him why he moved down here. He told me that he wanted to get away from all the wokers in Colorado. Made sense to me. He said his four-year-old came home from school and the teacher had given him this questionnaire. The teacher wanted his four-year-old to decide what gender he was. And he had 27 choices. 27 choices. I know I'd been out of high school for 18 years, out of college for 13. But I didn't know that much had changed. When I was in school, there was never a gender question. We never received a test that asked, which gender do you identify with? These people are sick. A spokesman from the University of Otago, they said they couldn't think of another person more worthy of this award than Laurel Hubbard. Clearly, they don't teach critical thinking at the University of Otago. Yahoo Sports in Australia, they said that Laurel Hubbard's very presence at the Olympics was history making. You know what would make history? A giraffe driving an 18-wheeler. Do you want to be on the road when that happens? Just because something happens for the first time doesn't make it historic. History is supposed to be for the people that actually do something. They accomplish something. All Laurel Hubbard did was transition from a man to a woman. If that makes history, every prepubescent preteen is making history by transitioning from boy to man or girl to woman. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Give me your thoughts on Laurel Hubbard receiving the Sportswoman of the Year Award. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.